I had the good I had the good fortune to work with some of the members in this chamber, and I, I see this afternoon that they've decided of this morning to uh, join us to hear my contribution on this year's budget. And uh, I had the privilege of working with those people doing the PAYAC hearings, where I got to forensically analyse uh, the set of documents that were that were that were dished up that were dished up to the community this year, and. Um, for those of us in the country with many, many uh, clear priorities that uh, my, certainly my six local shires have put a lot of effort into lobbying and campaigning, it was absolutely devastating to see that almost nothing, almost absolutely nothing was delivered in any way, shape or form to rural and regional Victoria, and in particular the wonderful seat of Polwood. And I see the... Uh, the member for Morty Alec over there grinning away, of course, he, he trumpeted endlessly, trumpeted endlessly during his contributions at PAYAC about dog parks. And, and, and in communities like mine, to see that, you know, this government's solution to road repairs is to lower speed limits to 40 kilometres an hour rather than investing in roads. Their approach is to leave roadside vegetation uh, unkempt and, and become terrible, terrible fire hazards. And, and yet this government is proud of its fact that it's, it's pork barrelling in the city with dog parks. They're uh, certainly investing in trains and, and uh, level crossing removal. Sure, that's great for Melbourne. But they've forgotten about country Victoria. And the big take-home item on this budget was that only 4% of infrastructure funding is going into rural and regional Victoria. It's 25% of the population. There is almost nothing going back out to the regions.